In the sea urchin, before a sperm can fertilize an egg, it must first penetrate the egg's outermost barrier, the jelly coat. When a sperm touches the coat, it begins a process called acrosomal reaction. In the first step of the reaction, the sperm's plasma membrane and acrosomal membrane fuse together, releasing acrosomal enzymes onto the egg. The enzymes are hydrolytic and begin to digest the egg's jelly coat. A thin extension called acrosomal process grows out from the sperm to meet the vital and envelope. The acrosomal process contains actin filaments that lengthen through the process of polymerization. The acrosomal process is covered by proteins called binding that attaches to the receptor on the surface of the egg. The receptor on the eggs of one species only recognize the binding proteins on sperm of the same species. That is the interaction is species specific. The binding of the sperm to the egg completes the acrosomal reaction and allows the sperm's plasma membrane to fuse with that of the egg. After fusion, sodium ions flow inside the cell. This sudden influx changes the polarity of the egg's membrane so that the interior is positively charged relative to the exterior. The positive charge prevents other sperm cells from fusing. This change in polarity is the fast block to polyspermy. The fusion also triggers the egg to release a wave of calcium ions from intracellular stores into the cytoplasm beginning at the site of sperm entry. The calcium activates the egg and initiates both development and the slow block to the polyspermy. During the slow block, cortical granules fuse with the plasma membrane. During the slow block to polyspermy, the membrane polarity goes back to normal. The contents release from the cortical granules include enzymes, some of which break the molecular connections between the vital and envelope and the plasma membrane. Other enzymes remove the egg's binding receptors. The chemical released uh, from the cortical granules cause water to flood into the vital and envelope by osmosis, raising the envelope from the plasma membrane. Other chemicals harden the envelope, now a fertilized membrane, and prevent additional sperm from entering to this egg. To bring nucleus of the sperm into the egg, the egg produces a fertilization cone. The cone surrounds the nucleus and draws it in. Once inside the haploid nuclei of the egg and the sperm fuse to create a single diploid nucleus. That concludes our understanding of fertilization in sea urchin.